hose master. Metal hose applications can be tricky. And sometimes a hose can be failing or having problems due to the surrounding piping system or an improper installation. Today, I'd like to show you part one of our do's and don'ts when it comes to installing hoses in a piping system so that we can maximize your hose life. A metal hose cannot move axially, which means compression and extension because of its outer braid. The braid gives the hose its ability to handle pressure, and straining it or compressing it makes the hose lose that ability. Don't install the hose in an application where it will see compression or extension when trying to flex. Do install it in a loop so that the hose can properly flex and avoid damage. Always ensure that there is enough live length, which is the amount of actual flexible hose in an assembly. The corrugations perform the work and allow the hose to flex, so you need to have enough of them to do the work at hand. Don't force the hose to bend at an extreme angle. Concentrating the stress will overwork that area and cause the hose to fail. Do use the entire live length of the hose to do the work. Installing the hose in a loop is a great way to accommodate both vertical and horizontal movements. Don't stretch the hose with its live length between two endpoints. This puts a huge amount of stress on the fittings, which is where the hose is most likely to fail. Do ensure that there is enough live length for the hose to function properly. Similarly, a lateral offset is when a hose is used to directly connect two points that are at different heights. Don't stretch the hose when it's installed in a lateral offset. This will also strain the hose behind the end fittings. Do calculate proper length or adjust the piping system to reduce the gap. Following these tips can help maximize your hose life and safety. Make sure to check out part two for more tips, and if you need assistance with an application, contact Hosemaster and we would be happy to help you.